Happy release day everyone! Sword and Shield is officially out there in the wild. Uh, we are going to celebrate by opening this entire booster box. And um, yeah, so this every three months we kind of go through this where our new set is dropped. And that Friday, while I don't really usually pick up like these kind of sets at things like Target Walmart, if that is where you usually get your product, they should have it I believe by now. Uh, a lot of LGS's have been selling them for the better for most of the week already. But all right, let's get into another 36 packs of Sword and Shield. I will say that I'm I'm still enjoying the sets. I feel like the I don't know, just reading through like comments and stuff, I feel like the overall impression is not as positive as I would have expected for, you know, a new era, a new a lot of new Pokémon. The introduction of V, which I am, you know, VGX, I think the biggest thing for me just means that certain cards don't work, like Great Catcher, but uh, Palpat's a pretty good card. Actually, so is Air Balloon. All right, we're going to go fast for this one. Wooloo, very cute. A Reverse Switch, and then a Dreadnought is our first rare. I think the stuff that we want, while we did pull a full art supporter in yesterday's video, definitely want those. I think um, some of them, the supporter is just really strong. So I feel like as far as cards being useful down the line, you know, that Professor's Research has a very good shot at that. Ghastly. As far as Pokemon that we want, uh, we feel like we actually pulled a lot of the stuff that we were looking for. A Delmize V. This one, I will say, I don't like. <laughs> it is kind of a weird Pokemon that we... Uh, this anchor thing, and it has a very mediocre attack, kind of like revenge thing, but only for grass Pokemon. And then a Giga Hammer, which does 200. That one I say, will say, it's not too much to get excited about. But, you know, definitely the Shield Face Dog and Zacian are pretty good. Reading through, you know, a lot of people that are trying to brew some decks early, it feels like Zacian is a common theme. Ooh, always a fan of this Rillaboom. Even if he doesn't amount to much, I am going to make it. I'm going to try to make it work. Although that card was actually not that hard to get all of a sudden. We missed on the pre-release, but then next I went to League, like, hey, here's some Arilla Booms. There, I guess we're set. But, uh, yeah, I think then as far as the trainers, I think will obviously be super useful. The Quick Ball, I think, will probably be the one, the secret rare that I want the most outside of Professor's Research and, of course, Marnie. Even though Marnie is not as good. But yeah, I was, uh, looking through some of the pre-order prices of a lot of the cards, they are pretty low. So I wonder if the reception is not as positive as I was expecting. Musharna, this is always a weird one. But I mean, this is kind of like the base. And we kind of like look back as far as like, oh, look, we have some Sun and Moon packs open. And by the one, actually there are a hand few, handful that I'm less excited about. But definitely Sun and Moon base. I couldn't even tell you what is like some of the big hits out of that set. So maybe that's this is just kind of a intro. Although again, I feel like the introduction of a lot of new Pokemon I thought would have uh, kind of you know created a lot of hype. At least it did for myself. Because Galarian Zigzagoon and then a Ninetale. So far this is not going too great. But uh, we still got a lot of packs to open. And it seems like for the first two boxes that we opened, we kind of got like seven or so hits. I was pretty happy about. Definitely not hidden hidden fates rates. Metal saucer. I uh, oh I also want a secret rare version of this card. And quick ball, very nice pack right there. As far as the uncommons go. Gengar. Oh, I'm not sure we looked at you yet. As often you like during your turn, you may move one damage counter to from one of your psychic Pokemon to another. Okay. Can we move that to Wasp Fed Psychic? 
and then just move all the damage to the opponent. But uh, yeah, what are you hoping to draw? I feel like one of the biggest hits is that Zacian gold card, which we pulled like on our second pack. So then it's like, all right, what, what else are we hunting for? I always feel like when opening packs, uh, I need to have a target. I need to, to like just zero in on something and go for that. So we already checked off the Zacian. Um, yeah, there's a handful of supporters. I think that quick ball is what I want right now. When I was trying to create some decks and playing at League, it felt like this quick ball is amazing. Mawile Baltoy and Grapple Lock. Interesting Pokemon. I think some obvious ones that will be very popular or is that uh, Snorlax V Max. The Lapras one doesn't seem that great to me. A Lumberry. Aurora Energy. Saw some people trying to brew with that card. And I was kind of surprised because I would have thought that the Rainbow Energy would be a better way. But there were some good points brought up. You know, that Tina Chomp is still very relevant. So that one damage could actually make a big difference. Alright, be sharp. This art is always, it's always gonna make me laugh. Baltoy, that's a boring one. Another Zigzagoon, Toxic Croak. And then the Berserker. This is the first one I've seen in this, and this was our pre release card, which I will say I was disappointed of. Uh, but it does have that buff for metal Pokemon. Metal attacks. Let's do 20 more damage. Fortunately, that is something you need to evolve into, so I'm not sure that's going to be good enough. Switch. But yeah, let me know how your release day goes, and uh, especially if you get some spicy pulls. Always good to hear how you guys are doing in your packs. Well, that's Asian V. <laughs> Shout out to Saitama. Show me a picture of like. Yeah, pre-release, everyone had one of those. There's like three people pulled that same exact uh, secret rare card. Ooh, okay, we definitely got something in this pack. The Noon, it looks like it was a dark border, I believe. I think that's just V cards that have that. Let's see, if we could pick any V card. Let's go for Zacian. Boom, Stojourner. This is one of the le another one of the less exciting ones for me. Uh, guard press, take less damage, but only 20, and then attack for 150 for 3 fighting energy. Alright, let's get some better pulls. I will say, this is not the, not the fire opening I was hoping for. Shady dealings, this, uh, you know, this trainer drawing engine. wonder how many decks are going to leverage that. Ooh, okay, a reverse Chinchino, very nice, with that trade ability. And then a Noctowl. I think the thing I'm most excited for is when all these cards become standard legal. It is interesting that they there is like a two-week period between when they release... And when you can start use them, using them, I'm kind of... And then it doesn't apply to online. Uh, so, for example, like this weekend, I'm potentially going to an attend an event. And <laughs> opening all these cards, I can't use them yet. And any list I do want to play, I it's a little bit more difficult. It's a little less useful to test them out online as well. Rare Candy, good card. Corva Squire, Krabby, Minchino, the Ponyta. Oh, we've yet to see the Rapidash that uh, protects from all special effects. All right, we need to step this up. This is not a very impressive box so far. Another rare candy. We'll put you off to the side. If we're going to play Chinchino, we're going to need them Minchinos as well. 
Fulu, the Silly Cobra, and a Syndrace. I think I like the other Syndrace better. The one that does 190 and when it comes into play from the bench, you can move two energy from your discard pile onto it. Ooh, ordinary. Oh, I think this is another good uh, item card that I would like to find the rainbow version of, or the hyper rare version of. Secret rare version. <laughs> There's so many different rarities now. Or actually, maybe they're not, but there's so many different names that they go by. All right, this is the last pack for the first half of the box, and only two V cards so far. Wait, what am I doing? Seeking another ordinary rod. Salandit, Ponyta, Big Charm. And then a Turtonator. Well, I do like that art. I'm just going to clean it up real quick. All right, let's keep pushing on. Definitely, we're going to need to hit some really good stuff to turn this into a very good box. And if you do play the online game, uh, definitely attend uh, one of our Twitch streams as we will start doing sword and shield giveaways throughout our streams. And we do stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings. Yamper. Ooh, okay. I think this is our first Rapidash uh, with paste, past, Pastel Veil. Uh, your, Poke your Pokemon recover from all special conditions and can't be affected by special conditions. It is, you do have to evolve it, but then Psychic is not too bad. 30 damage plus 30 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, nice. We got, I think this is our second one. Snorlax V Max. I think this will be one of the popular ones. And this falls in the category where. I like this version better than the rainbow. I do want the rainbow just for max rarity purposes, but this one looks much better. I feel like you can really see <laughs> this crazy Pokemon with all that stuff. He has like a whole world, not on his hand, on his belly. My opinion, one of the better VMAXs or GMAX, whatever, Gigamax. All right, so Second half of this box has started much better than the first half of the box. And I do feel like the pull rates are pretty consistent for boost. What? Another one? <laughs> okay, Saitama, I think you're right. This card is not that hard to pull. And we got our second one already. And uh, looking at TCG player, this seems to be the card to pull. Let's see how we're doing on centering. Is this a good card to send to PSA? I feel like the centering is not perfect, so probably not. But very cool card. <laughs> I'm glad we went with the other side just because uh, kind of like the first box where we just started off so strong and then things got a little um, much slower. This was the kind of the reverse. And kind of what I was saying before is the pull rates, they're not entirely consistent but there so while there is variation you almost always get whatever like that six seven pulls and so if they kind of you know it's kind of more backloaded in an opening i don't mind that provided that we're opening the entire box so <laughs> yes this side of the box is much better uh we hit the same number of hits and the quality is i don't know four or five x maybe the wacky wacky egg here's what people think about this do you think this is a good card you can see it because if uh let's say you get like stamped or something having a lucky egg is a reset on your opponent's attack most likely and then they'll just refill your hand size pokey gear 3.0 very nice poltergeist All right, I feel like I saw something on the side of the pack. Pokemon Ketra, another one I'm kind of interested in at this point. I think there's a bunch of these that are legal. You got this one, the Great Catcher, which only affects, doesn't affect V or non GX slash V cards. And then the Custom, which I imagine the Custom is going to be the least used. Shelter, and then more Peko V. 
don't think this card is that exciting. 20 and 20 to the opponent's bench. Electro Wheel, discard energy for 150 and retreat. Although, not sure if this is worth it, but like, there was that uh, Sawbuck, which you had to, one, you had to evolve and kind of had that ability to go back to the bench and then you use things like Poke Dolls. Uh, more Peko could be a stronger version of that, but you, your energy requirements are a lot higher. All right, Metal Saucer, very nice. I'm not sure if it's possible to get two secret rares, but if not, that's okay. That <laughs> only got the the chase one. Lapras, this one's not too bad. You put two of your opponent's energy, but it goes just goes right back to their hand. Uh, four water energy is quite a high price though. But I think uh, those, yeah, I don't know what to call them. I'm gonna call them D-Ramp, Unramp, the energy removal attacks. I'm very, ooh, another really good useful trainer. Very interested to see how those affect the meta, whether or not they'll be, will be used or not. Because there are a lot of them in this set. A Syndrace, and then Ore Beetle. This one is interesting. You may look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order. So if you know they're looking for you know, that, that welder, <laughs> you can try to prevent them from drawing it. Team Yell Grunt. And one thing I will say is that as I'm trying to think about different decks to create, I find myself not using too many of the new cards. Uh, like I see Zacian a lot. I still like the Meow. But then I feel like the it's those trainers that are just really strong. That quick ball, that uh, professor's research, that evolutionary incense. And so I'm curious what decks people will come up that do involve the new cards. Beyond the trainers at least. Beyond, or I guess me, I mean these Pokemon. You know, I do like the Torkoal. I feel like its damage output is kind of low. Even for that attack that does remove two energy. Alright, so we are starting to wind down in packs. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope you can get some product for yourself as it should be available in everywhere that isn't sold out. Hyper Potion, this card sounds pretty bad. Hoot Hoot, a Score Bunny. Pikachu, Sinistee, a Gengar, Reverse, and at least it's a, I think it's a Hollow. Ooh, say, ooh, nice. Sableye V is actually one that I'm very interested in. Uh, there are some, you know, Weavile still around, so we could probably try to make it work. Some of these dark decks, uh, dark box decks or whatever. And But that Crazy Claws, uh, 10 plus 60 damage for each counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. And I think the Umbreon card, like it has some piercing damage, or one of them has piercing damage. And then this one can finish them up relatively easy with just two energy. And this is one where I do like the full art version. And one thing I will say about the new set is there's not you, there's not three versions of every ultra rare now. There's only two, which I am very happy to see. And they kind of mixed it up. So some of them, like Sableye, only gets the I'm gonna call this the full art treatment. Some of them, like actually, we don't have. <laughs> uh, there are some rainbow ones, and then there are gold ones. So instead of having you know, three different versions, or to some degree, with a once like if gold continues to be a thing, you know, not four versions of the same card to look for or potentially pull. You know, they limited each of them to two, and kind of makes this whole secret rare thing a little less ridiculous. Aurora Energy, and then a right period. Did we look at this guy yet? Isn't affected by resistance. Uh, Bedrock Shake. This takes 60 damage to each bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Ooh, yours as well. Hmm. Bedrock Shake. Let's say you had something just to spread out damage and then shake. But it does affect yourself as well. 
All right, not sure how many hits that was, but now I'm very happy with this box. We got that main chase card again. Maybe we should do more booster box openings. That seems to be where we get all these Zacian, gold Zacians. We've hit two Zamacenta, two Zacian. <laughs> And I'm very happy that Zacian is the one we keep pulling the gold version of. Alright, only a handful of packs remain. Let's try to get one more hit. I'm not sure if the supporters count as, like just the, let's say the regular full art. I don't think that counts as a secret rare. So let's pull one of those. Give me that Professor's Research. Or that Marnie. Just not Beady. I don't like Beady. <laughs> Oh, she didn't do like I didn't find her very interesting in the game looks kind of funny <laughs> quick ball and the, the card I feel like is pretty bad let's just compare to the way overpowered welder that in my opinion is like super meta to find oh we got something Hoo Cramorant Cramorant V I think this is the first time we pulled it so okay but I don't think this card's very good let's just take crack take a look beach catch Beak catch, search your deck for two cards, put them into your hand. Oh, that's not bad for first turn. And then discard all energy. Oh, okay. Uh, discard all energy from this. This attack does 160 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it can attack anything, but then you remove all the energy. It almost reminds me of the Naga Nadal GX attack. It does 170, remove three energy. But that one is entirely colorless, so maybe that could be useful. The wacky. All right, three packs remaining. We got a gear. We got an energy. Krogunk. And then, oh, another Chinchino. Very nice. Oh, but yeah, BD. Compared to like Welder, where BD, I think, just puts one energy, Welder can do two fire. And then it draws you three cards. What an absolute busted card. All right, I'm not sure. I feel like this is going to be an amazing box because it looks like we got another hit from the side of the cards. Hop, another gear, pseudo budo. All right, let's see. This probably we we do have one more pack, but uh, wouldn't surprise me. If this is our last hit. Snorlax. Oh, how about a Snorlax V right here? Boom, Keldeo. I think this is our first Keldeo. Two ten wave splash for forty one energy. Okay, and then Secret Sword fifty plus thirty damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. So assuming they're all water energy, that would be ninety. One forty for three water doesn't sound that strong. So this one feels much weaker, especially compared to the Caldeo GX, which was very strong. All right, guys, this is our last pack for another amazing box. Once again, happy release day. And uh, yeah, hope you managed to find some products. If you did, share your polls, uh, whether it's in the comments or, or just do it on Instagram or something. But, oh no, actually, if you're part of the Discord, let us know how your polls go on the Discord as well. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. I'm really, uh, I still am enjoying this set and hope you do as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle. Ugh. And I'll catch you guys next time.